Hi there, welcome back to part two. I need to get to the main campus and catch the bus. Chloe is waiting at the diner. Well, thanks for that, Max. Uh, yeah, welcome back to part two of episode two, um, A Guide to Life is Strange. And we're going to take the bus into town now. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Another content match. Don't you know that I have to say, this episode's got much better music. Alright, in this section there isn't too many uh, side quests, uh, actually there's no side side options in the cafe, there's only one main option, um, but there is uh, a few photographs to take, so um, let's do those first, and then we'll get to Talk the about rest going of the back content. in time, the diner looks exactly the same. So... Bomb sign photograph. And then and we have to go round the back here. You can talk to all these people. And there's interesting conversations, but we're not gonna do that. Just get through this quickly as possible. So here we want to take a picture of the dog. And let's just get inside. So, she was having a go at me about being late, now she's late. Hmm. And you can talk to everyone in here too. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Next photo is here. So let me just show you, that's that's all the photos we've got there. Alright. Now, we can chat to a bunch of people in here, change the music, whatever. We are just going to sit down and wait for Chloe to turn up. Am 
And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Yeah, a bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. So, no, you could just look at stuff. Let's look at the window. Oh, the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep back. I she can said your stomach rumbling from said here, the Max. same thing. Jeez. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Good. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Speak of the <laughs> devil. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. 
How you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. So, we're gonna go with keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. So the matter what you pick girl. here. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Right, okay, what you want to do is... Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Yep, study all the items. So we have a panda keychain on the keys. We have... Uh, seven cigarettes in a cigarette box. And then we have... Quarter, 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 75, 80, 85, 86, 86 cents. And we have this parking ticket, it's 1034. I believe that is everything you need to remember. You got this, Max. Now rewind. So, you just we'll rewind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. It is a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? We have cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? You have money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty-six. Eighty-six cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket? A parking ticket. You know me well. But? What is the exact time I was busted? No, it's 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers! I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! 
Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. So, we just watch what happens here, and the Did trucker... Did you break another cup? Break some Really? Rock. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Then and where's my partner? The partner drives off. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your they start fighting. Outside. She he tells them off. It. I'm finishing it. And then over here, a cockroach climbs on the jukebox and makes it go all wonky. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Right. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And... Justin Joyce and Trevor stops are him. fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Right. Uh, what... 78% of people did was answer the call. So that's what we're hey, going to do. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please. Go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. 
It's not like I won't see her in class later. To me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right. Well, um, the last section in the diner was quite long, and then this section's quite long. There's quite a lot to do here as well. So I don't want to make the episode too long. So sorry if it's a, a shorter episode, but I'm gonna uh, call it the end of the episode here and I'll see you in well I'll see you in the next one okay have a good one mm -hmm.